Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your bi-weekly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. Also, if you would like a reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Gemini, this is a very emotional, sensitive time where you have to pay attention of your own states of depression or uh, feeling more uh, overpowered by your emotions in such a level that you are not seeing the growth that it's happening in terms of opportunities for you to expand and start seeing very valuable results in terms of actions and efforts that you've made that could be related either with your relationships in terms of your social life, your friendships, and the value, the, the, the value that they add to your life, or in terms of creative projects, projects or work opportunities that could be very, um, very profitable and valuable to your life. But because you are, or you might have a tendency to be very emotional at this time, your sensitivity is so heightened that everything might feel very, um, very uh, challenging sometimes to deal with in terms of others. So other people, your co-workers, your friends, the social aspect of life, your intimate partners, your family, because in you there is a longing to retreat to your shell and deal with your emotions there because you're not comfortable on showing this emotional vulnerable side to others and this is creating attention frustration and difficulty in finding balance in your mind so in your mind you are one way and the other way and the other way and it's all a mess and all a confusion and you are letting your fear of your ego a little bit talk to you in terms of telling you that being here in the moon it's somehow not um it's somehow something that you don't want to experience so you don't let yourself dwell and flow with emotions which is when we create a problem with the moon energy the moon is about emotional irrational patterns within our own unconscious selves it's about our habitual patterns, yes, but as well, it's what feeds us, what we need, what we desire to feel nurtured, to feel emotional fulfilled. And it's well, it's our ability to give to others, our ability to share our emotions with others, our ability to feel comfort, let ourselves be comforted by others and give comfort as well to anything outside of you. So it's about as well our own sense of security within us. And that might not be something that you are very comfortable with consciously, but unconsciously you have the maturity to make this a very interesting time. Because the moon as well can bring to you a sense of imagination, intuition, dreams that can't you that you can put to work in some way. That could be quite valuable here. Three of Pentacles crossing that moon. It's very interesting. It's like you can use that. One of the best ways to use this moon to you at this time is to use your emotional, uh, sometimes flood of energy to let it come forward and then put it into something that you can work in, something that you can use and manifest, especially. Because in the near future, you do have the Ace of Wands. So whatever feelings, emotions, intentions you are putting at this time, over springtime, they can bring to you a new beginning. A new passionate, creative beginning in terms of your work life or simply in terms of feeling that your life is much more dynamic and full of interest and inspiration. But before you go there to the outside environment, Right now, it's about inwards. It's about what's going on inside of you. It's about your secret fears and anxieties, the ones that you don't reveal 
to others because you don't feel comfortable enough to do so. The ones that you keep to yourself in a very guarded way. So as well, you are you are somehow learning to master your emotions, and that's great. But just pay attention when where your mind is letting you to believe that there's something wrong about this moon feeling, about wanting to feel, wanting to be more vulnerable, wanting to be more soft, wanting to be even more needy. It's just that that feeling of wanting something more profound to feed us, feed our soul. So it's not like you are you are not exactly looking for something to feed you in terms of the outside life. You are looking to food for your soul. So ask yourself what it is that nurtures your soul, what it is that individually in your case brings you a sense of fulfillment and a feeling of being uh inspired the night time can be a very very productive time to you at this two weeks so the night time and uh maybe around as well the full moon new moon we will have eclipse season um we will have eclipse season now in march uh solar eclipse i believe it's tomorrow or I don't know March eight or nine, and the lunar eclipse it's March twenty three I believe. So eclipse seasons can can really be in, the eclipse uh, energy can be really um, impacting you in terms of subtle energies to change something in you and to bring something to your awareness to your realization. That could be that either you are not giving your 100% of your soul in what you are doing in terms of your craft, in terms of your work, and so there's a desire to initiate something different or to bring back life to a project that in this later time has been felt a little bit uh, unfulfilling to you or you having a lack of this could be simply you having a lack of focus and a lack of a, a objective um, ability to pay attention to this work or project or situation. Because right now your information is coming from yourself and your unconscious self. And so there's a need to guard, protect this emotional energy that wants to come forward. So then you can find back that inspiration and desire to create something to bring your forces back together so the near future with the ace of wands whatever whatever you're trying to initiate in whichever area you want this new beginning to be manifested put the seeds of your, your intentions there because they might very well bring to you the potential to initiate a very promising energetic path in terms of your career and in terms of life itself, where you will feel much more emotionally connected and at the same time inspired. So I hope you have a great time. Thank you for listening, liking and subscribing. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.